Hello world, I'm Uncle Carp, and welcome back to Book of Hours. Now first of all, I do want to apologize about the sound quality of the last three episodes, specifically the one that was, well, the first one of the last three, so... Not the previous, not the one that was before that, but the uh, one before that, where the sound quality was horrifying. I had no idea what happened, it sounded like the, uh, kind of the, the thing, sounded like the audio plug was, like, plugged in improperly. But I've not touched the audio plug at any point, and it was plugged in properly. And afterwards, when I tried to record something more, the audio corruption wasn't there anymore, so I have absolutely no idea where that came from. And also, I do realize that uh, lately I feel like I've been quite negative about some things, or let's say that I've been very strongly negative about s small things. I think that's just kind of like the stress of my life blading in through. I feel like like most of the things I've criticized about in this game uh, take like about 10% of that criticism as like real criticism and 90% of that is just emotional hyperbole. But anyways, there has also been an update to this game uh, between the previous recording and this and they've added something very nice. For instance this. I'm just hovering over here and it shows me what I need. Like this could come out a little bit faster. I think like you could take like a half a second away from that waiting time and it would still be good. But this is awesome. This is excellent. And also a even more excellent thing that I don't notice because I was I was trying to uh, brute force some of these altars to see if any of my skills would do anything over here. And I realized that well, if I put any skill that goes in here, let's just put any skill that goes in here like disciplines of the scar. There is a they they put a thing here. And I'm loving this, because this was one of the biggest problems I actually had with the game, like mechanically. That you, once you got to a certain level with the skill, you couldn't really do the other recipe with it. But now you can just pick which recipe to do, this is so awesome! Oh, like this made it, like, that's, this makes it so much better, like this, this, it's just a little thing. Very little thing. Makes the game so much better, like this. Like, I was thinking this game was like a 9 out of 10. I'm thinking this, just this, makes me puts this into a 9.2 out of 10. Like, that's awesome. And this, very much also awesome. Okay, so what are we actually doing right now? We have the nun here. Uh, she's going to be at 15 knock. Okay, uh, we're gonna need the shaft, right? Just to give her that, so we'll get to this room of 16. So we have one soul extra, and we can't really do anything with that extra soul, I don't think. So yeah, let's just wait for uh, her to uh, deal with this inescapable confinement Newman. And then... Yep. Oh, we're also doing something else. Oh, I wonder what we're doing. I don't remember. Uh, none person. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to talk... You know what? Before we do that, let's see what other things I am doing. Okay, so I'm getting memories. Sky... Sky. Oh, I didn't actually take this. Uh, Sky? Okay, yeah, yeah, right. We're upgrading the, uh, what's it called? Watchman's Paradoxes, I think, is what we are upgrading. Okay, so let's see. Is that what we were upgrading? I believe so. So, uh, do we have six memories? I hope we do. And yeah, that's why the other thing we had here was a whist. Okay, so the lesson and yeah, six memories in there you go. Okay, so that's gonna be a seven then. And we were putting that to a nine, right? We're putting the other thing for eight in uh, uh, illumination. What even was the other thing? It's been a couple of days since the last time I played because I got uh, after I started editing and I realized there was the audio error, I got uh, slightly depressed about that and they didn't really want to play for a couple of days. Okay, so what was the other skill? Uh, I should remember it, uh, if I just see it, because it was something... Uh, was the Inks of Revelation? No, that's already been put into something. It's a power. No, that's already been put into something. What even was the thing that was... Oh! Oh, they've changed how this works as well. So I'm just holding it here and it's pulsing. I... Yeah, okay. I would change the frequency of the pulse to be like, it should be bl bright for a little bit longer. Uh, like I'm saying like maybe a half a second longer. It should just stay as the bright thing for about a half a second or maybe a second there and then go away. Uh, but uh, better than it was before, because now I don't actually have to do the thing that I've been doing all the time, which is this just moving my mouse up and down to see which 
things. Oh, it's the disciplines of the Scar. Yeah, disciplines of the Scar. Yes, yes, yes. So this is going to need to be an 8. And the Watchman's Paradox is going to need to be a 9. Okay. Now, none person. Yeah, we're going to still talk to you about our shaft. Uh, so that we can actually get to the most difficult room here. And I'm really, really hoping that we can find some metal from here. Like, there's still one more room that we'll have left that we can find. A piece of metal. Also, 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 I realized a thing, but you know what, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the next thing I realized tomorrow when we actually have soul parts to do things with. Okay, so Watchman's Paradoxes is now at 7. Hmm. That amber preserves and is preserved by light. That to hatch is not to die. That the sun. There's a place behind the world called the Manses. These things will be impossible in the world are inevitable there. The Watchman, who knows all the ways of the Manses, also knows how to make these deeds possible in the waking world. Now, that Amber... Yeah, I remember uh, there are other books, or some books have also talked about Amber being linked to the Watchman, which is why I've been trying to use this <laughs> Atlantic Amber at the Watchman room to see if that would do anything for us. I don't think it did. Okay, so you are not... <laughs> Wait, what? Is our shaft seriously a plus four? It is. Oh, nice. Ah, okay, none. Open this door for us. This is the sealed vault. A heavy iron door sealed with black wax. A triple lock of unornamented iron. Yeah, and for some reason this none can help us open it. Mm, okay, well, the inescapable confinement is probably such a secret that would give us information on how to get through vaults. Uh, we, well, I mean, we did use a magic potion as well. You know, the, uh, or did we, or did we use the magic tool? Okay, 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 let's see, let's see. Okay, well, that looks, first of all, that looks like a Newman book. Oh, okay, we got... Amirans Betteli. Fragment of iron alloy meteorite carefully inscribed and polished. This object houses a Newman. Okay, we got our Newmans here. And here is... A child's treasury of golden afternoons. Once upon a time, a very bad man encoded very bad secrets in the charming illustration of a book of charming stories. Wake the pictures and you will see. This book houses a Newman. Okay, so we get a couple of Newmans here. Uh, that's a very good. Also, a, right, the thing that I was going to talk about later on uh, re re relates to Uzult and the sky aspect and the no one of the Newmans that we got uh, previously, because one of the Newmans, I believe, has sky aspect in it. So I think we could actually write a Sky History to beat the game at this point. Uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, so first of all, let's grab these caskets. Copper casket. A treasure stored by the doomed child of two immortals, seeking sanctuary touch health from terrible hunger of their parents. Oh, this is actually one of the, uh, one of the uh, starting histories, or like, because we are the... Once again, I have forgotten who we are. We are the Revolutionary. There is one uh, who actually has, uh, yeah, like that they are a child of along and they've come here to hide from uh, their parents so that the, because uh, they're going to do the crime of the sky to him. Because, you know, that's what the Longs do when they have children. Uh, that's when the crime of the sky happens. Okay. Uh, right, we don't have any soul parts left for today, so we can't really do anything today, because I was kind of hoping to start opening one of these. Well, uh, let's move these uh, Newman books uh, up, 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 up to our book situation. Wait, whoa, 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 it just, just suddenly disappeared. Oh, I'm glad it, it just went back to the place where it started, but yeah. Oh! What? Okay. No, no, don't dis don't disappear again. What is going on with this book? Uh, okay, let's drop it there for a little while. What on earth is going on? Uh, okay, could you like could I move you without problem? No. Okay, so. Uh. Interesting. Okay, I'm assuming that I'm actually holding on to the thing, even though it doesn't show me. I think this is this is probably some kind of Z-level problem where the uh, the game is trying to draw the object that I'm holding uh, behind the scenery. Uh, is what I would assume is happening here. Okay, so you needed to go into here, right? Because you are. This is our 
Numina. Page, uh, which one of you, which one of you has the, the one Newman that had Skype? Oh, we do not remember. Okay, and then we'll grab uh, the other Newman book from here. Hold on to it, and even though if it disappears, okay, it didn't disappear this time, that's good. Uh, yeah, so these two we still need to read to figure out the actual Newman's in them, and it would have been nice if I had actually written in my notes, like I've, writ I've written notes about what the Newman's give, but I didn't actually write from which book which Newman comes, so that's uh, that's my bad. Uh, for sure. Okay, but yeah, we'll just wait for till tomorrow, then we'll start opening these caskets, we'll start reading those books, we'll, uh, well, the Newman books, and we'll see, well, actually, yeah, well, well we, we can read, yeah, we can read the books with the discs, yeah, 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 that's not gonna be a problem, I was like, well, we, if we're gonna be opening caskets, then we can't be reading the books, but yeah, we can read the books with the discs, I just, for some reason, I, I prefer doing it, uh, over here on our main verb, uh, just because it kind of makes me feel better, <laughs> makes me feel less confused say that. Okay, well, you are fed there. Okay, and we'll see. So you are in Forge. Okay, this is a Forge table, so we'll put this over here. Uh, soul, 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 soul. Uh, do we actually even need... Uh, we probably do, because uh, Bells and Braceries might just... Oh, that's not even our highest. Uh, it's... Uh, what is our highest? It's Transformations and Liberations, right? Yeah, that's only an 8. Only an 8. Uh, yeah, I don't think we had others. Yeah, most definitely the uh, the highlighted time should be uh, longer, because right now it seems like the time when it's not highlighted seems to be longer than the time when it is highlighted. So I would most definitely change that. that well, I would change that. I would make it so that the highlighting lasts for longer than the non-highlighting time. Okay, yeah, yeah we're going to need our metal. We're going to need our metal. Put the metal in there. Uh... Wait, seriously, do we have so little metal? Interesting. Okay, let's start with... Oh, it's an unfamiliar language, right! Forget about that, uh, we actually need to put the language in there as well. Still don't think that this is a good idea, that we can even start it if the language isn't there, uh, but... Uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I made a much bigger deal out of it last time than it actually is. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, gotta remember to put that in there, so put the metal in there, put the language, which language is it in, it's in Fusine, put that in there, and the transformations and liberations. Forge the kindled flame, I can master this mystery. Okay, let's master this mystery, and yeah, we'll wait and see what we get uh, from the caskets, hopefully, come on, give me a little piece of metal. Okay. Uh, some black sapphire wash. Still don't really know what we'll, uh, but that's good for. Looks like it. Well, it very much looks like it's a precursor for one of the uh, uh, terminal inks. Okay, we'll put our twist in there. See what's in this casket. I wonder if these are randomized or if these are actually uh, like always set. Because this says a treasure stored by a visionary apiarist with a blumber and a lineage. Uh, makes me think that. Also, it says like it had a very Unique sun description, uh, same thing here, it was the treasure stored by Doom Child of Two Immortals. Uh, so yeah, both of those sound like it might be a very particular thing we're getting from there. Okay, so what is the particular- Oh, it's Orpiment Exultant. The Incaustum Terminale of the Fourth History. Okay, oh, this is also a sky thing, that's very nice. Uh, wait, is that Uzult, or is that- Okay, that's Perinculate. Is that, uh, the, uh, Okay, that's the Maracat. Yeah, okay, can I, can I move you onto this side of the table? I'd really prefer if you were over there. Okay, well, uh, even there is good enough, so that's some of that. We'll put the Uzzle down here as well. No, wait, let's not put the Uzzle down right now, because I want to do the thing with the Uzzle. Actually, let's do that... R no, no, I don't have the Newman. I need to get the Newman out. Uh, well, we'll see what Newmans we get from these, and then uh, we'll uh, do that. So, yeah, let's just open this last casket... And uh, also, let's go see, so what are the last rooms? The last rooms require... Right. Knock. Knock or edge. And we had some problems getting to this edge. But if we just get out the uh, level 6, the memory, because we can do that, uh, the four, uh, edge memory, uh, then that door will not be a problem. And I'm pretty sure if we just get them... Actually, we even need the nun anymore. Because, uh, do, do I still have that one currency cord over here? 
Yeah. Okay, I have this currency cord over here. Okay, so that's a 6. Our shaft was a 4. So we're already at a 10. And if we just have that one uh, Calicity... Is it, is it, what is it called Calicity? Uh, is it that... Oh, it's the ass guide. Yeah. Uh, that... If we use the currency cord, if we use the sacrament ass guide, and we use our shaft, that's enough to do it with just Denzel. So I think we're gonna do that... What? What's... It's midday. Okay, it would take us three minutes to get that happening for Denzel. If it's midday, day lasts for... No, it's not three minutes, because it only takes half a minute. So one and a half... Okay, yeah, yeah, we, we can most definitely do this today. Uh, let's go grab Denzel. We haven't seen you in a while. Nice to see old friends every once in a while. Come on, Denzel. Okay, let's get grab Denzel. And we also read uh, this thing. So this was the... A fragment of iron alloy meteorite carefully inscribed and polished. Who gave us fire? Who gave us steel? What is the sound of dusk? Of what alloy is wind forged? Esoteric secrets of metallurgy and resonance are revealed, including directions towards the creation of a terrible bell. Okay, Ooh, two lessons of bells and braceries, which we can use to upgrade our watchman's paradoxes. Numen, the bells of Is. Is, by her arts, found the strike tone that shakes the hours. For this reason, among many of the hours, discouraged traffic with Is. But the bell cast with this secret could speak the Is note. Any librarian could use this to establish a history and complete the game, but the prodigal and the revolutionary can win a particular victory. We are the revolutionary. Now, what this then tells me, clearly, is that what we actually want is forge a rose because this is not a sky thing so our actual victory like our special victory is rose or forge themed it would seem well right that's what you get from horror history right you get metal and fit yeah so that makes sense uh okay so well since we are here, uh, we do not have the, yeah, we do not have the ink of Rose, right? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to increase uh, this skill. Uh, no, not this skill. Uh, this skill a lot. Okay, actually, let's see. Can, could we get to 15 here? Uh, I know we need the Icor Aurora. That gives us a two in rows to create the ink uh, and our fit Man, I, I'm thinking that all of our skills I think that's plus 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 it's only the fast that's the plus 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 right so four so with a two rows memory we should be able to maybe create that ink okay well before we do that let's actually okay, put our uh, this thing over here and we will put the metal in here. We will put that particular Newman in here. And we will put the Orpiman Exultant, because that has a forge, in here. And then if we put in the Transformations and Liberations. Revolutionary victory, God from Steel will bring a second dawn. From the crucibles of a royal the is metals, new hours arise, and in this history, Calyptra will not prevent it. When the librarian creates a history, even the hours take note. Making this decision can be reversed. It will begin the end game. Huh. Begin the end game. I thought this would just be a victory straight up like this, but it just begins the end game. Okay, well, before we do that, well, we know now that we can do this. That is the important thing to know, that we can do this. Uh, so, we don't even... Okay, so I don't even need to worry about uh, that other thing. What I want to do is I want to open every single door in this building. Do, do, so, before we even try to go for an ending. So, uh, let's get... Yeah, let's get Denzel up to snuff. And we have... Alright, we have this thing. So, yeah, let's... Oh, we can get Watchmen's Paradoxes level 9 right now. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay, so we need seven. Okay, let's put this 
up here so I actually remember that that's what we're working for. So seven, I have here one, two, three, four, five, six sky things and two lantern things. So this is very much not an issue. What is an issue though is uh, do we have, okay, it's a whist or fast yet. Yeah, okay, let's put the whist and the fast down here just to keep them safe and then let's start reading. Uh, Trist, you go there and grab a uh, actually, no, no, don't grab that one. Grab that one, because that's the one I remember that's written in a silly language. Uh, so we'll actually put that language in there. Like so. Okay, Reb, you can go over here. Put that there. Metal, you go over here. Put that there. And... Mm, so, I'm thinking about the desks. Uh, we don't have to use one disc. Oh, what the hell? I, okay, I missed that again. Okay, there seems to be... I think they... I don't think I've seen this. Okay, that didn't work. What? So yeah, there's some sort of bug they've introduced with the... Uh, with the new update, it would seem. Yeah, yeah, just, I, I think that happened when I crossed a line of... Huh. Like it felt... Oh! Okay, come back, come back. Won't you come back? Okay, I, yeah, this is very definitely some sort of Z-level sh shenanigans going on over here. Because uh, I go over, I went over a certain thing. And then it stopped drawing the book. Oh, that's a really bad bug. That's a really bad bug. Really, really, really unfortunately bad bug. Yeah, that's, oh wow, that's, uh... Yeah, that's like, uh, seriously, uh, making the game impossible to play, Buck. Like, not impossible in that way, it would be impossible to win with this, but I, if, 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 if my books start disappearing every time I try to move them around the house, uh, that very much makes it so that actual playing of this game becomes impossible. Yeah! Oh, when I, oh, but, oh, that this is bad. Like this is bad. This is super bad. I, even if, like the, when I was trying to take the book there, it didn't work like this. Now it did. So, ooh, yeah. But you know, they are clearly still updating this game and working on things. So I'm not too worried about stuff right now. Even though, yeah, that, that's a real bad, like, that, that that's a bad bug. That's a bad bug. That's like a hot fix bug. That's a bug that needs to be fixed, like, tomorrow. Okay, and then we still need one uh, lantern thing. So, yeah, we'll put that soul in there, and we'll grab ourselves uh, one lantern memory from here. I think that's seven memories uh, going right now. So, yeah, that'll get our Watchmen products up to level eight. Uh... What were the disciplines of the scar? Can I upgrade the disciplines of the scar with these skills that I have here? No. Okay. Okay, so Denzel is now at knock four. Uh, we'll give him the... Uh... Oh, that's Ruby West Ruin. That's not what I was after. Uh, where is my... Why did I grab a Ruby West Ruin? No, I don't have the ass I... I... Oh, right, I did. It's right there. Uh, the Ruby West Ruin just must have been right next to it or something. Okay, grab that. Drink that. Okay, and wait, what is... Something unregarded. What overlooked delight. Forbidden epic. The change on the arts that drawn the bloodiest walls. Afterward, the histories are braided like hair. Like, what am. What is this? Evolve via Horomac history. Evolve via bird song. Wait, where did I. Where did this come from? Did I- was this in one of the boxes, or...? Why is- Why does this have... Evolve? I could use Birdsong with this to evolve my soul. Once you have committed skills to a Birdsong Wisdom, you can use that skill with this, com this to combine two identical soul cards into a greater one, but you must use skill to get tuned with Wisdom, and the will only work once. Yeah, but you're not a- what? Okay, and is this... Okay, is this... Okay, that's not a, even... What? A 
Okay, I, 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 this, this thing makes me confused. <laughs> if, I, if I remember where we got it from, this will make me less confused, but... How... I could use... Okay, do I have... I, I, I don't... What? This is some memory! Why does this have Evolved via Haromic History and Evolved via Bird Song in it? Okay, this... I'm pretty sure these are... These are the things... That are in here! Wait, wait... Wait? Wait a minute... Okay, I can't consider that. Can I consider my own? No. So does this then mean that this makes every machine that I can put this into into uh, evolve via hermic history or evolve via birds on cost? Cost, cost. The thing is, it's over here, right? Evolve via things. If I put this in here, they're here. So yeah, I think that's what this does. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, skills linked to horror history or bird song, so I could test that, which of course makes me immediately think that will maybe we have something that goes in here. Uh, like Sakura Lineate goes seems to go in here, and we haven't upgraded at all. So we need to, uh, how many times do we need to upgrade? One, two, three, four. Oh, we need to get it to level 5. What about in Bird Song? Ooh, they're going to get to level 5 as well. Anything, anybody want to go in here? Because... Yeah. Doesn't look like anything wants to go in there straight up, but we have a lot of skills. In Bird Song that haven't been... Oh, wait, wasn't Bird Song one of the things that I was thinking that we should try to get things into? Oh, I've already used things of containment on something. I still have it on my list of things that I'd want to upgrade. Because, uh, yeah, at some point, I, I think I looked at when that was the one we had the most things. Like, yeah, we Hill and Hollow here, for instance. Uh, one, two, three, four. Are you the highest level of bird song thing we have? Ooh, is Pentiments and Precursors? Oh, that goes to bird song. We have a Pentiments and Precursors right here. Okay, so we're gonna have to read ourselves a Grail book. Okay, do we have any Grail books to read uh, left anymore? Uh, probably. Uh, any of you Grail? Uh, you guys are Sky. Yeah, I know that because I put you down there. Uh, okay, there will be a scale thing. I don't think we can get to scale 12 though. Mm, come on, Grail, Grail, Grail. This is hard. Uh, grail, give me Grail. Ooh, that's a Grail. Okay, Grail 14. Can we get to Grail 14? Uh, 10. What's our plus rib? That's a 3. Well, with a memory, we can most definitely get there. Okay, so we're gonna have to read that. Uh, well, but first of all, we're gonna do all the things uh, we're gonna do today, which is uh, finish things with... You get that currency port. Proper A device. Yep, yep, yep. Won't get it back. I don't care. Uh, and let's get all these seven memories out. I really hope I actually got seven memories. I wasn't really paying attention because uh, it's possible that we we could have gotten the same thing from some books. Okay, so watch me paradox. Go there. Take that lesson. Take these memories. Okay, starting from there and that and that and that and that and that and that and is that it? That is it. Okay. Then the first in there, and yeah, we can't read the uh, book, a Grail book, we most definitely cannot read a Grail book today, we cannot read enough things to upgrade this further today. Uh, could we get the Pentiments upgraded? Uh, I mean... Rain has a Grail, uh, Wind and Waiting has a Grail, Wind and Waiting is easy to do. So we'll just get ourselves a grail. Oh, no, no, no. Still can't do that because, well, we'd have. I mean, we'd have to use money! Uh, yeah, sure. That's not a problem. I just. <laughs> we just sold a gold spin tray for two pounds, so yeah. Uh, let's get. Well, we'll just get that big red out. Get the two pence in there. And yeah, cause if we just put one grail memory uh, somewhere. Uh, let's use the whisk. 
doesn't really matter what we use, we'll use that's that one. Get the thing out, and yeah, then we can upgrade the Pentiments and Precursors. Okay, so Watchman's Paradox is now at level 8. Very, very good. Uh, Denzel, now at 16. Knock, very, very good. And he is going to open for us this door over here. Okay, unlock that. Uh, yeah, I think tomorrow we're going to try and get that uh, memory, that uh, edge memory, what is it called? The Invincible Audacity, I think it was called. Yeah, uh, also, what was this room even? The sealed wall, a heavy granite door sealed with white wax, a triple lock ornamented with ivory and black nephrite. Oop, what did I get here? Alright, my fit. Wait! Did I put my fit? Oh, bloody hell. It's supposed to be the Ureb. Okay, let's put the Ureb in there. Wasted two pence. Not that big of a deal. Okay, and let's just make... Well, actually, now I can uh, just uh, use the fet to read another book, so I don't have to use the wind in waiting. <laughs> I'm not sure what is my aversion to using these uh, permanent memories. Like we can, like they're easy to get. That should not be uh, it should not be an issue <laughs> of using them. But for some reason, just I, I don't like using them. Okay, so what do we have in here? What is this? This is the Ivory Wall. How did the Curia of the Isle begin? There is no evidence they began with the Ars of Lethe, that society of unseen immortals bound by three oaths. But this vault, much newer than the tunnels above, does seem to reference the oath called the Ivory Chain, which forbade commerce with the Hours, except sometimes with the Winter Hour known as the Elegiast or the Ivory Dove. Solomon Husher remarked that this might be considered less of an oath of rejection of the hours and more an oath of loyalty to the Elegiast. But Solomon, of course, vanished into the snow. Okay, so what do we have? Well, it seems like we have eight lockers with things here. Okay, uh, clearly a Newman book. Yeah, yep, this is a Newman. The sky in the scar. Uh, what is this? Uh, Perlite on follows. Yeah, this also has a Newman, and then we have caskets. Okay, so these are like. Okay, this is just a case. <laughs> and a record box. Sort by a musician spy. Okay. Treasure left behind by an explorer on the eve of his final voyage. Treasure stored by a diplomat full of glories. Treasure stored by an exiled empress. Treasure stored by an accursed tomb robber or something that walk in her shape. A treasure stored by an esoteric anarch on the eve of her failed revolution. Okay, well, it seems like we have a lot of things to do uh, down here uh, for tomorrow, because we're going to need to use six soul parts to open all of those caskets. Uh, hoping that we can find a piece of metal from there. Uh, okay, so I cannot actually fit these two over here where all the rest of my Newmans are, so what is... Alright, you are books that I still can't read. I still can't read this language, right? Yeah, can't read Crack Track. Can't read Kernavik Hennavik. Oh, I wonder if I remember to check people if they actually speak that those languages when we uh, when they've come here. Okay, well, can I put you over here? I'll put you over there and you... Can I put you next to it? No, can I put you on this? Well, I'll put you there and I'll move this... Uh, Drink. I'll put this over here. Hopefully I'll remember that those are actually Newman books. And yeah, we're waiting for that. Yeah, we're waiting for that uh, the memory and uh, that rib. Okay, and here is our rib, and here is that memory. So with that rib and the memory, we can increase the pentiments and precursors. Uh, with the rain in there and the red in there. Okay, and we still needed to upgrade one more time, right? Because we need to put something on level 5 so that we can test the Forbidden Epic. Yeah, and there was nothing... Yep, yeah, none of my skills actually go there right now. Okay. Uh, so, it is night has fallen. Okay, now, 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 now. now. What I really... Well, what I really need to do is just wait for tomorrow, and then we're going to get that Invincible Audacity out, and once we have that, we're going to try and see... Well, actually, we're just going to try and see if we can get Denzel to open this door for us, really. Because it's only a 14. If we get a 6 from that memory, uh, we only need 8. 
anymore. And Denzel has two from his silver. Okay, so two plus six, that's eight. So we still only need six. Uh, our metal is uh, three. So that puts us to 11. Tool gets us to 12, and the memory gets us to 14. Yeah, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Okay, so Pentiments and Precursors. Ooh, nicely the Ereb actually got a uh, refresh there. Yep, okay, so back, here we go, and this is, oh my god, this is gonna be so much easier now! Because I can actually use my Edict's Marshal here to get out the winning move. But, 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 we're gonna need a memory for that. Wasn't this asking me for that memory? Oh, may, oh, no, no, I probably can't do it with this skill. That might be the thing. Is that the problem? Hmm. Okay, uh, let's wait until we get uh, today's memory actually out, or not memory, weather. Uh, also, is it? Oh, it's springtime! We got our, got our stipend. Nice, okay, it's rain, so. Put the rain in there. We'll put that in there and that in there. What well, can do the worm would dream with this? Right, well, that's not what I was after, so I wonder what is your uh, edge skill. Okay, what is the edge, my other edge skills then? Uh, well, Disciplines of the Scar, is that my highest? That might be my highest at this point. No, overall contemplation is probably the. Right, wait, what, why didn't you not just go in there? Okay, there's Torx Cleansing, hmm, okay, what was it with, uh, our Contemplation, do we get higher, uh, no, so that's, you get the same level of, yeah, you're a 7, you're a 7, okay, so it looks like we're gonna need a memory, cause this metal, uh, won't, oh, cause that's, yeah, this is a plus plus and that's not a plus plus, yeah, okay, so here's the winning move, right, so we'll do the winning move, uh, let's see, can we do it with the Disciplines of the Scar as well? Uh, okay, so Disciplines of the Scar doesn't go for that. Okay, good. Or, not good, but it's good that we have a skill that actually goes for that. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the... Uh, we're gonna use the winning move to create the... Invincible Audacity. We're gonna need the metal for that, probably. Or we might have to actually get rid of that metal, uh, or, like, refresh that metal. Now, so if we put this and this and this down here, how many soul parts do we have left? Well, it looks like 12. And 12 is more than 8, and 8 is what we need to get our Watchman's Paradoxes to level 9. So let's start getting Watchman's Paradoxes to level 9. We got a minute and a half here to uh, just waste time before that goes out. So yeah, we're gonna have to use every single desk in the game. Uh, okay, let's start. Yeah, we're just gonna start. I'm gonna grab the... Uh, yeah, just gonna grab a couple of books here. I really hate doing it this way, but it's better than just because <laughs> that, that that bug is bad bug, bad bug. Uh, they've introduced here, uh, but yeah, we can get around it, so it's you know not the end of the world as we know it. Okay, and then for the religious table over here, All right? What are you? Uh, sure, let's put that health in there. Okay. Then we'll go for the three tables we have here. Also, let's just drop this over here, and let's drop uh, the uh, ink over here. Nope, didn't actually put you in the table. Just go there. Right, and Ereb goes to one of these. Yeah, it goes to you. Uh, put th uh, uh, that one. That one has the language requirement, so we'll put that in there. Zabazine, where are you? There you are. Go in there. Okay, and Trist. Actually, let's let go into either one of these. Oh, okay, Trist, you go. Uh, let's use the smaller uh, Trist. Like so, and. Okay, you can take the shaft. That over there, and then we're still gonna have to go and put these three things into these desks. Alright, 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 alright. 
Actually, if the inventory was a little bit bigger, uh, I'd, I'd probably be doing things like this. I la what I think, now that I've been playing this game for a while, uh, about the inventory size, uh, it should be doubled. It should be 10. Uh, okay, so what do I want to put in here? Does it matter? Uh, probably not. Let's use the rep there. And put that in there, and that... Uh, no, the soul that actually goes in there. That in there. Okay, that was all of them, right? That was 6 and 2, so that's 8. Yeah. Now the problem is going to be, uh, once the books are actually read, they'll probably want to go and try and go into my inventory, and if they can go into my inventory, they're going to go on the other side, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, the end of the affair. A story has no beginning or end. Arbitrarily, one chooses the moment of experience from which to look back or from which to look ahead. Graham Greene. This incident has its full complement of visitors and is concluded. There will be an interval before the next incident when visitors will seek a general consultation. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna have to see... Okay, so this is a lantern book. Right. And what is the other lantern book? That is not a lantern book. Is this the other one? Okay, this is the other lantern book, so I'm gonna collect that as well. And then I'm gonna go and put these into lantern hole, uh, so that I won't get confused as to which hole uh, the books need to go into. Okay, because yeah, with the rest of these, it doesn't really matter that much. If they come to my inventory, I know where they need to go. If they don't fit into my inventory uh, and they'll get dumped outside, I still know where they need to go. Okay, everybody come here. Okay, and now, Watchman's Paradoxes. Up there you go, that lesson in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight memories, and an effort of a little bit of fast there. And that will be a nine. Unfortunately, we still need the Disciplines of the Scar to be an eight before that, so... Can't really do anything with that before that, but uh, oh, it shouldn't be a problem. Do I have do I have edge or lantern books here? It doesn't look like I have any edge or lantern books. Uh, have I read this one yet? No. All right, because we found the Newman that I think that we're gonna use to end the game, so that's what I haven't read. It. Uh, we got this from this thing, right? Oh, so I'm actually just gonna put this in my inventory. Yeah, these are gonna be here. These are gonna be the things that will allow us to, well. Start the end game apparently, not just straight up win. Uh, but yeah, okay, so that's happening, and then we have this happening here. Let's see if we can actually create the invincible audacity with what we got. I mean, it's still pretty early, so if we can't uh, do it like with the souls we have, because I'm kind of worried that we might need the bigger metal, uh, we, we can just get it refreshed. Okay, Princess Cockerel, I mean, Jurabi. Uh. Okay, so you understand VAC, uh, we understand VAC as well, don't we? Yeah, we speak VAC. Uh, so yeah, you're just gonna be wanting a book of some sort, uh, a conversation with a princess, there's nothing we can converse about, I mean we can converse about the spin tree, but because she has no languages that we don't speak, it doesn't really do anything, so uh, no point in there, let's just stop this and see, so I can find my interest, so you want knock or a grail, uh, Pretty sure it's pretty, it's gonna be easy to find either a knock or a grail book. That's probably a knock book over there. Yep, you can read that. Suitable reading. My visitor needs something sealed or unsealed. My collection can help. Right, and suddenly I remembered a thing. We we have a bunch of caskets down here to open. I completely forgot about those for a while. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see if we can. Okay, get. Them, but first, okay, first we're gonna do the things over here. So, winning move, you go in there. Uh, metal, you go in there. And it's Marshall, you go in there. Yeah, it kinda looks like I'm gonna have to get my big metal. Yeah, big metal refresh, because it's got two more edge than this one, and that will take us to 15. Okay. Uh, so we will do that. Let's go to the bar. To the bar. We must all go to the bar. Okay, and yeah, Watchman's Paradox is at level 9 now. That is very, 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 very nice. So let's go open these caskets. I'm gonna start from this side. Put you in there, put a whisk in there. Let's see if we can find something nice. Okay, 
princess gave us an iron spin trie. Hmm. I feel like sometimes they give me bronze spin trie. So I wonder if there is like does the uh, level of the book I give them have an effect on uh, how much money they actually pay me? That'd be interesting. Okay, we found some Iotic Essence. Iotic Essence, not metal. Okay, and yeah, let's start opening the next thing. Is there a wist for that as well? Let's go grab our metal. Oh, no, no. Wrong button. C, then press B to get here, and then we will see if the Edix Marshal is good enough to actually create what I need. Uh, okay, winning move in there, metal in there. Uh, Edix Marshal. That's the invincible audacity, yes. Thank you. Okay, get that. Uh, so tomorrow, right, so two from Denzel. We go up to eight with that memory. Uh, we give our own medal, we're at 11. We give the tool, we're at 12. And we give him a memory, we're at 14. And 14 was all we needed, right? Uh... Yeah, 14 is all we need. Okay, so it seems like we're going to be opening the last door. Because <laughs> I'm not going to start grinding for metal. Uh, I'm going to go through the house to see if I can find another piece of metal. I know we have that one. Uh, still got to go through the entire house to see if we can find still another one. Nilikant, the encasted terminal of the third history. It's the bleak, white blue of winter. It has sworn an itinerant order of secret celebrants who regard worms as semigods and who are sometimes called on to celebrate difficult funerals. Okay. Another in custom terminale. I do like finding these. Uh, this was uh, Iotic Essence. Yes, yes. Okay, so that means we can create the forge. Uh, yeah, forge in custom terminale with this. Uh, at some point, if we feel like we still need to. Uh, okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so fourth history, fifth history, first history, third history. Okay, so the uh, the the rose one has to be then the one that is from the third, second, not third, second, second history. Okay, well, back to opening boxes. We still have a lot of souls left. There are four more up. <laughs> four more possibilities of the game giving me a medal which would allow me to actually search through the entirety of this uh, whole place, which would be very, very nice. Okay. Oh, we found an earthquake name. Everything comes when it's called. Even the nightmares, the troubled stones, deep sleep. This one has this too! I like I know how to create an earthquake name. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. This is a scale 15 thing. And you gotta use the uh I think the critter, the tur the ancient turtle that we've uh, created once. Uh yeah, but it follows Alex. Okay, so this makes me think that maybe there aren't any actual trap skills in this game. Because if we can find these kind of memories that have, like both of these had two. Yeah, and there's only nine of them, so if there are four, five, or four, well, four, well, okay, we need five to cover all the nine. If there are five of these kind of memories, then we can probably, yeah, guessing we can use every single skill to upgrade skills. Uh, oh bloody hell, I have my wisp, wisp pluses, wisp, wisp, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what, what was it, uh, that, fusine, 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 okay, you are our ethos, fusine, sorry, that's street skill. If all my ethos tree, okay, fusine, heart, knock, scale forge. Okay, I'm gonna go check out my notes, if there are any places where you can put, uh, well, hard knock, hard, well, where we can combine this, if you can put this skill and this skill in the same table, I'm... With some tables, some, uh, with some things, you don't, you don't need 
the ass. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. But we, we need to be able to put a whist in there. Okay, so we need to find something. Because skills, skills, I believe, always need to go into, like, the actual thing. So we need to find something that takes whist and fusing. Okay, so what's that? Uh, lantern, winter, hard knock. Okay, I'm going to check out my notes to see if there's anything that is lantern, winter, hard knock. Okay, well, the great clock is winter and knock immediately. So let's go and have a look, see at the great clock. Uh, which one is the great clock? Uh, it's uh, I think it's the machinery here. Yeah, that's the great clock. Okay, so yeah, this would take whist. This does take the earthquake name, and yeah, this does take an element of the soul. I mean, it's almost morning, so yeah, we're gonna get to test that like immediately. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, there is our invincible audacity. What is the time? It is dusk. Okay, so we're gonna wait until to uh, actually, yeah, yeah. We'll let's we'll, we'll we'll just wait until tomorrow, and we'll try those things. We're gonna go have to go. Yeah, we're gonna go grab Denzel out, and we're gonna see if we can combine my wists with the help of the earthquake name. Okay, daybreak is here now. First of all, before we even go out and grab Denzel, let's see if this works this way. Because if it does, if this is how this works, then I will forgive everything basically I've said about this. All, every negative thing I've said about this game, I will forgive. Okay, if you see, go in there, Whist. Go in there, Earthquake name. It does work like that. Oh, there are no trap skills. Oh, that, oh my god. Ah. Oh. Well, I hope that didn't uh, cause uh, <laughs> much of a noise. I just... I, uh, I hit my own head, uh, you know, like, the, you know, the kind of thing, like, I was feeling very happy and I put both my, you know, hands on my head, but, you know, I have the, uh, thing on my head, you know, the headset, uh, so that might have caused, uh, some kind of noise. But yeah! Yeah! Bloody hell! Wait, that's the invincible or... Did I... Okay, okay, question, question. Were these added in the update, or did I just not realize these were here before? Because I have seen this... Oh. They must have been added in... They must have been added in the update. Now that I look at this, these two, yeah, they have been added in the update. Okay, so I'm guessing that maybe, uh... Uh, Mr. Kennedy, uh, Alexis Kennedy, who is the, uh, main creator of this game, he is the, uh... Well... Uh, Weather Factory, is, as far as I understand, is a company made of two people. That's Alexis Kennedy and Lottie Bevan. Uh, and Alexis is the guy who does the like the writing and the coding. And Lottie is like uh, management and art, as far as I understand. And then they use like some uh, freelancers occasionally as well. Uh, but yeah, I think he might have realized that, oh yeah, uh, some of these skills actually are traps. So maybe I should do something to not make them traps. And if this is what has happened for that, that I am so happy. This is so good. So good! Ha! Huh. Like, honestly, I am... <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> uh, I, I, see, for, I, I actually feel like I love life right now. <laughs> Which... <laughs> I am a, a very much a fatalistic nihilist uh, who suffers from depression, so I very much do not love life most of the time, but <laughs> right now... <laughs> Everything feels perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna give you this. Uh, we are going to need a memory of two edge. That is the contradiction. So whichever book does not give us the fear. Uh, so not the VC. The VC gives the fear. So yeah, we'll read this. Uh, we'll read it over here. Uh, get that red in there. Get that happening. Right, and then what were the other things? Our metal. And a tool. Okay, uh, do I have, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I have tools in the tool room, so that is not gonna be a problem. Okay, we have no lessons right now. So I should, probably should read something. So let's read, uh, the Newman books that we, uh, can read but haven't read yet. Uh, okay, that one we, oh, so these two, uh, no, this one and this one are the ones we can't read. Because they're in crack track. Uh, we speak Hyksos, yes. Okay, so let's, uh, check out this one. A child... Child's Treasury of Golden Afternoons. 
Okay, so this was the thing where some a ba bad man encoded bad secrets into a children's book. Okay, put that in there. Where is our Hyksos? Hyksos is over there. And then any soul part. Let's put the Feth. Uh, actually, let's put the Trist. We have a lot of Trist. Let's put the Trist in there. Okay. Right, so Denzel now knows about, you know, you know, in. No, wait, what was it, the thing? Uh, we even said? Invincible audacity. Yeah, he knows how to laugh in the face of the, uh, the colonel, right? The lion's is the one who laughed in the face of the colonel, I believe. It's, yeah, it's. Because <laughs> that's uh, how, how their thing goes. Okay, so now you are at an 11. Uh, we have here our memory, so if we talk to you about this memory, you are going to be at 13, and then we're just going to show you a tool. Oh no, 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 we already used the memory! Uh, well, let's use the tool, uh, first of all, because we're going to have to be doing that anyways. Oh, wait, 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 I just remembered something. Are you... Okay, you're a key, you're not a tool. Okay, this is the edge tool. Yep. <coughs> Give you that, so we're gonna have to find something edible that gives edge. I'm pretty sure there was like wine that gave a little bit of edge, right? Wasn't there? Uh, like I'm happy with anything. I just need a two. Uh, oh, the uh, oh, but we're already getting a tool, so that's not gonna be helping. Uh, yeah, come on, come on, give me something edge, something edgy from the kitchen. Okay, there, that one has edge, and it is two edge. Nice. Okay, uh, we're gonna serve, and then we are. Well, we're gonna have to wait until uh, Denzel gets acquainted with the Kerkerbit burette, which happened now, and then we are gonna give him a glass of wine, and then he's gonna be ready to open. Oh, so why am I reading the book? <laughs> I was supposed to be opening. <laughs> Putting these caskets, there's still three left. <laughs> well, we're getting a Newman, uh, that's why. Okay, this one's gonna go away, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Lord Jacob Criswood, surgeon, ethnologist, philanthropist. There is no proof that he ever kept children in hutches beneath his bed. There is no proof he vivisected cats at dinner with his pen knife. The suppression bureau keep its, its secrets. Here is your paint, whispered the wolf to the pale girl. Here is your knife for scraping, and here is your face. Okay, so what are we getting? Two lessons in shops. Ding, 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 ding. That's edge. That's edge. That's edge. Well, that's the two edge. We need to upgrade this to level eight. We are going to master illumination. And a Newman of merciless alteration. The fundamental flaw, the irresistible shortcut, the hate that heats, the chains that mars, the scar that opens. These are the foulest histories. Any librarian can use this as history and complete the game, but the artist and the archaeologist can win a particular victory. Right. Okay. Get you in here. And yeah, let's start. Yeah, caskets, 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 caskets. Or this wasn't a casket anymore, is it? Oh, it's just an attache case. Yeah, we'll use our pet there. And yeah, now we have enough space in our inventory to put all of this there. And there was something else in this room. Nope. Okay. So, uh, since we have found so many new many things. Actually, how many new many things have we found? Numina things, I believe. We should probably say if Numina is the, uh, uh, the multiple version of it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nine. And I believe that nine is the amount of beginnings, or whatever we're gonna call these. Well, let's let's call them beginnings for now. Uh, yeah, I think there's nine of them. So I think we've found all the Newmans. So I wonder what on earth is here. You know what? You know what's gonna be in here with my luck? A piece of metal. <laughs> but also, like, do the uh, are do they make the these things like the scrolls smaller? Now where did I put my where have I put my scrolls? Oh yeah, most definitely. 
Because we had, yeah, I have, oh, it's hard to see this one here. Well, quite hard to see that one there as well. Yeah, but we had one on each side of this. And I, this looks like we can fit two. Yeah, we can fit two now. Okay, they made them smaller. Well, that's nice, because they were annoyingly large before. Oh my god, like the, the, the latest update has brought so much good stuff into this game that it's kind of <laughs> incredible, actually. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do for the uh, today, so we're going to open this door. We're going to see what we find from here. And that's uh, all we're going to be doing for the rest of today. And after that, we're going to put a cut in this episode. So let's see what Denzel finds for us. Oh, wait, something happened as well. All oh, right, my wist! My utmost wist! <gasps> I'm so happy! <laughs> okay, and here we have... Ooh! Porphyrine! The Incausen Terminal of the Second History! Well, that was... Well, now we have all of them. Um... Can we use... I think we can use this as well. Okay. Can I fit you on the table anymore? Is there, like, enough space for you? Oh, there's... <laughs> that doesn't look like it's on the table. <laughs> yeah, there's something wonky, I think, about this table. Because uh, uh, when we move stuff around here... Yeah, cause you, can see, you can see the shadow there, like, doing weird things. Ah, but yeah, let's, let's, let's actually... Yeah, let's collect that. Uh, let's open up another thing. Uh, put a health in there, sure, and let's just uh, let Denzel open the final door, or, you know, almost final. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, something about the uh, triple knot there, clearly. Nothix. If you were a pilgrim to the Abbey of the White Crow, you'd purify yourself here. You didn't want to track profane Dumnonian mud or alien Mare Britannicum soaked into the holy precincts, or unclean thoughts. Especially not unclean thoughts. The priests here were a little more merciful than the hours they served, but only a little. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. Are you... Oh, you're not even a thing. Interesting. Okay, so we only have stuff here. Uh, okay, we got some Ava's locks. We got Atlantic Amber. We got... Ooh, an eggy. A viper egg, yep. Yeah. And some sea glass. We got a couple of candles here. Okay, so nothing really special in this room. Interesting. I would have assumed this to be like a thing we can interact with, but it's not. Uh, what do we got here? We got the moon's faces here. Yeah, going over there. We got, yeah, the triple knot over there. Mm, doesn't seem like there's anything else that interesting happening here. But yeah, like I said, I think we're going to put a cut in here and we're going to continue with this in the next episode. In between episodes, I'm just going to go through the entire house and look for one piece of metal. If I can find one piece of metal, we already have another one. Uh, then uh, we can actually open up the rest of the rooms in the next episode. And if that's not... If I can't find any metal... Well... Then we're probably going to have to try and find it from the sea. I mean, I said I'm not going to do that, but honestly, I think I gotta do that. But yeah, that's going to be in the next episode, which also might be the last episode. Because if we start writing... If like, if I can't find the metal to get in here and find out what's in the last rooms, I might just write to history and finish. Or, I mean, it's just that it starts the end game. It didn't say that it is the end game. Well, we'll see what it is, but we're going to see it in the next episode. I'm Lokarp. This has been Book of Hours. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.